have something I want to tell you. I am running for president. Of the United States? Holy. I'm paving the road for a lot of other people looking like me to get elected. Brooklyn's first black representative. You're about to make history. I love your hair. All right. How old are you now? 47? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jamal Finkley, Black Tree TV. Um, I always start with my favorite actress of all. I mean, I, I love, love you, Virginia King. And Thank it's you. always, it was great to see y'all pair together to work on this. So you just say you love her, young I, lo I love you, Chad. <laughs> I'm like, I'm yeah, I'm here he too. said actress. He hadn't gotten to okay. actor yet. Well, I'm a, okay, well, well. <laughs> I, I gotta, I gotta ask first. I mean, because I know we've seen you, we've heard you do the voice of of Huey and Riley. How, how, how was it getting into this Bayesian accent to pull off Shirley? Ooh, that was a lot of work um, to um, try to honestly uh, capture Shirley's dialect. Um, because it's very specific, specific to Shirley. Have um, and I, I said I was about to say had, but have an amazing uh, vocal coach, Aaron Washington, who really just um, helped my ear understand that as humans, we don't sound the same way all the time. You know, mood, um, uh, different times in life. Uh, Emotion uh, determines who you're talking to, determines how we sound. And so her helping me to tap into that mm -hmm. and really listen to, okay, Shirley speaks really fast during these moments. Shirley slows down in these moments. You really hear a little bit of Brooklyn in these moments. You hear a little Bayesian in these moments. And allowing me to give myself the freedom to not, um, because the last thing I want to do is a, as a, impression right. of mm. Shirley Chisholm. It's yeah. kind of where... An impersonation. Yeah, an impersonation, mm -hmm. yeah, where uh, Shirley and Regina meet. What, what, what's, what's the commonality? Mm -hmm. and, and that's what we really worked on. Um, a lot of um, research uh, to just who she is or who she was as a, as a human being. All of that played into the dialect. So. Hopefully, you know, people uh, walk away feeling like they're not hearing me. They're yeah. with Shirley. It was not know. an impression, but I was impressed. I was. Yeah. Hey. I like that. It's just how Papa raised you. <laughs> it's the truth. So I don't blame you. No. You blame my father. He had four daughters. Four. But when he died, he left you the little money he had. You were treated differently. And now you think, now you think you're special. That's how Papa was with you. He made you believe things. They aren't true. He made me believe in myself, regardless of what people You have think. no regard? Whether or not you someone don't care else what stands this campaign with you, does to your friends, I can do what to your family. Necessary. That's what Papa would want? You are pushing us away over nothing. Mary. Is that what you think my campaign is? Is that all it is to you? Nothing? Nothing is what you make the rest of us feel like. <laughs> Thank you, sister. All right. It's a presidential year, uh, election year. Unbossed and unbothered was uh, Shirley Chisholm's uh, campaign slogan. For each of you, each of you if y'all was to be our president this year, like, what would y'all, what would y'all campaign uh, prospects be a slogan or uh, well it's kind of hard to beat unbought and unbossed that that's a this is you know, a hard one to beat that is a hard one to beat yeah. I don't know what I guess um, I don't I don't know I don't unbought know if it'd be some unbossed how can we beat unbought and unbossed how do we beat that yeah, yeah. that's saying I, that's that's I'm authentic I'm real mm -hmm. yeah. that's a beautiful place to be you can reflect off of real and I think that's why they were afraid of Shirley and didn't teach her in school because we, she was unbossed and unbought. Mm -hmm. And that kind of integrity and commitment to the greater being that you are, that's, in, that, that's incendiary. Mm -hmm. So many of her time, what catalyst for change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
The numbers are improving. Less than 3% of the vote in Maryland and Michigan. Yes, that's better than less than 1% in Wisconsin, but... If I can't get the nomination, I can still get delegates. Surely. And if we can control some of the delegates, we can still force change at the convention. Get delegates from where? All of it's left on the map. Look, Oregon's going from a government, we know that. And we're not even on the ballot in Rhode Island, South Dakota. But there uh, is California. California is winner take all. But what if we win California? Shuli, you said yourself it'd be a waste of time. I would do whatever it takes to compete in California. It takes money. Do you have money? Because we need money. We can get money. We, Jesus. Look, even if we enter the primary, how do we get traction? Who wants to back you? Now, come on, Mac. I am just being realistic. Yeah, I know, but come on. You want to do this, we figure it out. But at this point, without something that's going to make some noise. I mean, I mean Ter Terrence, I, I know you're like a scientist. You'd be talking about double helix and math yeah, and all this stuff. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> but we're doing a, and I, and I just went back to school, so I know like the studying part, but when you, preparing for a historic drama, um, besides the script, like how, how deep do you, did, you know, delve into history? Like how do you build the character of, of Arthur Hardwick, you know? Finding out his little secrets and tricks that he had, um, that he carried a gun, always had a pistol with him, that kind of, went, and you only, you don't get that in the books or anything like that. You literally have to, if you have at your disposal, um, right now, everyone has it with the internet. You can look up almost anything, and you can go to the dark web if you can't find it there. If you're, depending on what your appetite is as far as wanting to get to the truth. But finding out little other aspects of them that other people might not see, you know, being able to look from a crevice or even from a projected mountaintop that they want. You know, you don't just look at who the character is, look at where they fell, and look at where, what they were trying to accomplish, and then you get a full story, but you're always informed by the lead at the end of the day, because there's a million stories to tell, but the lead is going to lay the foundation of where you're going to go, so you have to be there looking and open, and that was perfectly easy with mm -hmm. Shirley and Arthur, because Arthur, he adored, you know, everything that she did every aspect of her so um that was an easy I, job I, you know i love that you like brought up like the fact that you know arthur you know uh he carried a gun everywhere he went and i think a lot of people don't realize when they're watching actors that while you don't see that um um written out or spoken it gives about you a it, it gives you mm -hmm. yeah it is we and that's what we do as actors when we're even if it's not playing a real life person but you're just building a character when you decide okay this person um always in this case carried a gun or this person um was from uh barbados and lived with her um, her her gram her grandparents during these formative years of her life before she came back to um, to Brooklyn uh, that that informs you that informs so much about how your body moves mm -hmm. you know like Shirley was always very erect you know always just yeah. you, and back and didn't bend back didn't mm -hmm. bend but in moments where you needed to see how everything that was happening to her would affect her to get into those real human moments. It, it made sense to kind of let your shoulders yeah, drop Yeah, but it was just bit. your shoulders. Yeah, your back yeah, never, never bent. bent. Yeah. And your shoulders would come forward a little bit and then that breath would come back up. And, mm -hmm. and that's what everybody needs to see, that hey, you're gonna get kicked, you're gonna get knocked down. It's how many times you're willing to get up and take that next yeah. breath again. Yes. Yeah, well, great movie. Rain and Regina, y'all produce some more movies together. Put Terrence in them because he's, he's yes. absolutely fantastic. And uh, I, I, I learned a lot about this movie. Can't wait till the world gets to see it. Oh, appreciate Thank that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.